make sure you have a strap or a necktie or a scarf, anything that you can use that would be used like a strap. And I like to just hang it over the chair. So it's there when I'm ready to use it. And then let's sit in the chair. You can sit towards the front of the chair so that you have space behind you. And let's let the hands rest on the thighs. I'll just give you a minute to settle in. You're welcome to close the eyes. Let your belly relax so that as you breathe, your belly expands. And you're not just breathing into the chest, you're letting your breath come all the way down low into the belly, maybe even into the pelvis. I'd like you to acknowledge any effort that it may have taken in arriving here. You're on your mat in your chair. You can become aware of your location on this earth. And notice how we're all here together on this planet as she spins and moves through space. We're all moving with her. Notice the rhythm of your natural breath. How long, how many seconds does it take you to naturally inhale and naturally exhale? And we're going to lengthen our natural breath and slow it down. So see if you can take three or four seconds to inhale, letting your belly fill. And then take the same amount of time to exhale, letting your belly release. Imagine that you have three chambers in the body where your breath can go. You have the belly, you have the rib cage, and you have the chest. Instead of just filling the belly, on your inhale, you can fill the belly at the beginning of your breath. And then as you keep inhaling, the ribs expand. And at the top of your inhale, your chest opens. And as you exhale, you go back the way you came, releasing the breath from the chest first, then the ribs, then the belly.
Imagine that your inhale is filling all 360 degrees around this torso. And as you exhale, it's all gently deflating, but you stay sitting tall. You're welcome to invite little pauses at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. Not that you are holding your breath here, but allow the transition to be really soft and fluid. And as we change the breath, we change the mind. So the mind will follow this slower, fuller breath. Let's add some movement to it. Very subtly, as you inhale, tilt the front of the pelvis forward, leaning a little bit forward on the sitting bones. And as you exhale, gently lean towards the back of the sitting bones. You can keep the eyes closed. And slowly start to make this movement a little bit bigger. As you inhale, maybe the chest reaches forward and the shoulders glide down the back as well. And as you exhale, you round. Each moment is an opportunity to be present, to really feel the movement and the breath from the inside. And as you bring attention to the body, you become more embodied and less scattered. less caught up in the mind. Let's start to circle. Circling your torso like you're stirring a big pot. Inhaling as you come forward. Exhaling as you come back. And circle the other way.
And the next time that you come forward towards the front of the circle, let your elbows stick out to the sides and fold your belly towards your thighs. You might really feel the rib cage expand on your inhale here. And when you're ready, you can start to let the head go. Your hands can either stay on the knees or they can sweep all the way down to the feet, hanging like a rag doll. And see if you can send your breath into the back. Nodding your head, yes. Let gravity lengthen and loosen the neck. And shake the head, no. Take a deep inhale with me here. And exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Press into the feet, gazing forward. And on your next inhale, reach the arms out and up, getting tall as you sit up. Exhale, right arm comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go, arms release, glide the shoulders in circles. And open your feet wide. You can sit back in your chair, elbows might bend. Add the elbows to this if it's possible, your fingertips can be touching the shoulders. Keep your breath. Even though you're moving a little bit faster here, keep your slow, nourishing breath. Other way. Good, bring the hands to the knees. Circling. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you come back. So you're going to feel this in the internal organs. We're really nourishing and massaging those vital organs inside. And you also might feel it in the inner thighs and the hips. Good. And really let your circle get a little bit wonky. So anything that you feel the need to do with the shoulders, you can just play with it. Let it get really loose. The head can move around. Good, and go the other way. Let it get even looser. Feel free to close the eyes. No judgment as to what this looks like. Just get into the feeling of it.
On your next inhale, come to center. Exhale, folding. Stay here or bring the hands to the ground, hanging like a rag doll. Where is your breath going now? Is it going into the back? Is it going into the hips? Just notice where is the breath able to access now? Your body is in a different shape. So new spaces can be found with the breath. You can nod the head yes a little bit. Notice if it feels any looser than before. And try shaking it no. On an inhale, come up halfway. And when you inhale again, reach it out and up. Good, exhale, right arm comes to the right leg, left arm reaches up and over. When you're ready, inhale to center. Exhale, other side. One more time, each side. See if you can get a little deeper. Good, close the eyes for a moment. Just notice the body. Notice the mind. Let's clear the mind with three Brahmari breaths. Fingertips gently cover the eyes. Thumbs get ready to plug the ears. Tuck the chin ever so slightly so that as we hum on our exhale, the sound can come forward in the skull and you can really feel it in your whole brain. So let's inhale deeply together. And as you exhale, let the teeth gently touch and hum as you gently plug the ears. Mm. Walking your feet over to the right. Let your left sitting bone be slightly off or fully off of the front of the chair. And hold on to your chair with your right hand. Now, if swinging this left leg back is not comfortable, then you can always just sit in the chair here. Okay, so you, you always have options. See if you can see me a little bit better. Okay. 
So otherwise, you can swing this left leg back and it might, it might rest right here like this. The knee is just relaxing down and it's gently opening the front of this thigh and the psoas. If it's comfortable for you to reach back through the leg, then you can do that as well. Press a little bit into the feet. Okay, take this left arm, reach it up and around spreading through the fingers. It's like your arm is getting longer and you're finding more space in the shoulder and you can let that upper body move with it. You can even let your eyes travel with the hand. Inhaling as you reach forward and up. Exhaling as you reach back and down. Heart is opening on that exhale. Good. The next time you reach this left arm back, reach it straight back and reach your right arm forward. Your heart is turning to the side. You can even try to lower that back heel down. And if you're here, that's fine too. Okay. Now your heart is facing sideways, but try to gaze over your front fingertips. See if you can slow your breath down, release any hard edges of the breath. Flip your front palm up like an offering. And reach it up to the sky as your back arm rests on your back leg. Peace pose. Bring your front elbow to the front leg, reach your back arm up and over the head, like one line of energy. Good, and again, if you're here, that's fine too. Inhale, reaching both arms up, you're facing sideways, meaning that your heart is looking to the side with the chair. Palms touch, bring them down, release your left leg, sit deeper in the chair. And we're going to twist here. So press down through your sitting bones. You can press into your feet slightly. Spine is long. Slowly start to twist towards the back of the chair and bring your hands to the back of the chair. Gently glide your shoulders down as you draw your belly button in and up like you're getting taller because of your belly button drawing in. And use the help of your hands to twist as much as is comfortable. Slow your breath down if it's sped up. Relax the jaw. And gently unwind. Notice any sensations in the belly. And walk the feet through center and over to the other side. Again, you can always be here and just do the arms or bring that right sitting bone.
excuse me, off the front of the chair. Hold on with your left hand. Let the right knee dangle down or reach back. So my heel is off the ground and I'm reaching back through it. And I'm pressing a little bit into my front foot. Good, when you're ready, right arm reaches up on your inhale. And it reaches back, opening through the heart on your exhale. Let your body move with it. Let your eyes move around in the circle, following the fingertips. The next time your arm reaches back, you can look back with it for a moment. So your heart is turning to the side towards the front of the chair. Reach your other arm forward and gaze forward over your front fingertips. Shoulders are relaxing down as the hands reach away from each other. Flip your front palm up, gazing at the palm, offering. What would you like to offer the universe today? And reach this front palm up. You can continue to gaze at it, but tuck the chin. Let your back hand rest on your back leg. Really extend up through the fingertips. When you're ready, bring this front elbow down to the front leg. Reach the back arm up and over. Inhale, reach both arms up. Heart is facing over your front knee. Palms touch, bring them down to the heart center. Release your back leg, bringing the front, bringing the foot to the front and scooch back into your chair. Press down through your sitting bones. Begin to twist towards the back of the chair, holding on to it. Shoulders relax down as you draw your belly button in and up. See if you can slow the breath down again. Gently unwind, sitting sideways with the hands rest on the thighs and notice any shifts or changes in the body, especially the belly. Walk the feet to center. And let's stand up. Bring your chair in front of you with the seat facing you. 
and take a hold of your strap. Your strap can be folded so that it's not super long, so that maybe it's about a little wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to take the strap behind us like this. Good, and you can just step away from your chair a little bit and have your feet about shoulder width apart. And reach the arms away from your back. Good, keep your breath in and out through the nose. You're welcome to stay here and breathe. Otherwise, you can bend the knees slightly and fold with it. Head hangs. Hands reach away from the back. Where can you find new space with your breath? And then feel free to wiggle around with it a little bit. When you're ready, roll it up if you're folded. And release the strap. Let your strap open a little bit longer. So the hands are a little bit wider than the shoulders. And let's step the feet wide with the toes jutting out to the sides. Bend the knees. So you're sitting in a wide squat. Let's inhale, reach the arms up over the head. Exhale, leaning to one side. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Good, inhale to center. Exhale, bring the strap behind you. You can make your hands a little bit closer together. Straighten the legs. Turn your toes inward so that your heels are a little bit wider than your toes and gently fold with it as the arms reach up. Head releases down. One more breath here. On an inhale, rise it up. And release the strap. Turn your front toes so that they're facing the chair. And you might have to inch a little bit closer to your chair. I'd like your front toes to be a little bit under the lip of the seat. And then have your back foot be at a 45 degree angle behind you. Your front heel should be lined up with your back heel. Good, and then bend into this front knee. You can reach forward and hang your strap on your chair. Good. You can also let the fingertips touch the seat of the chair here. Good, and start to straighten your front leg as you lean back through your sitting bones.
Good, bend into the front knee again. Press into both feet. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Sinking into your hips a little bit. Begin to turn your torso to the side as your left hip reaches back. Arms come down over each leg. Gaze over your front fingertips. You can always straighten the front knee for a moment and then come back in. You're creating focus. This pose is very brave, warrior pose. Lift the front palm up. When you're ready, reach it up as your back hand rests on the back leg, peace pose. Good, bring your front elbow to your front thigh as the back arm reaches up and over the head. You can always place your hand on the chair instead. Good, stay here, just gaze down at the chair and bring both of your fingertips down to the chair. Start to rotate your hips and straighten your front leg. You're folding here. You're gonna really feel it in the back of this front leg. Good, everyone, bend the knee slightly. Come onto the ball of your back foot and plant your hands down on the chair and then step back into downward dog. Stay here or inhale into high plank. Tuck in the tailbone as you reach back through the heels and the feet. See if you can glide the shoulders down a little more, pressing through the arms. You're welcome to go back into down dog or let your pelvis start to relax towards the front of your chair. See, see if you can lift the heart and maybe gaze upwards slightly. On an exhale, downward dog. Let's do that one more time. You can hang out in down dog or inhale into plank. Just one breath here. Maybe practicing up dog. Meeting in down dog. Left foot steps forward this time. And line up your feet. So your toes should be underneath the front of the lip of your chair. And then your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Line up your front heel with your back heel. Good, come up onto your fingertips and begin to straighten your front knee. Lean back through your sitting bones. You can always take a break, bend into the front knee and then straighten it again. When you're ready, bend it. Press into both feet. 
Gently tucking the tailbone as you reach the arms up. And then sink into your lower body. Relax the jaw, relax your gaze. Start to turn your torso to the side, your right hip draws back. As you come into warrior two, arms are reaching over each leg. Gazing over your front fingertips. Flip the front palm up. This is your offering. Reach it up into peace pose. And bring this front elbow to your front thigh. Right arm reaches up and over the head. You can always have the left hand on the chair instead. Gaze down at the seat of your chair, rotating the heart towards the chair. Come to your fingertips again and straighten that front leg, reaching back through the sitting bones. Let's sigh out our next exhale. Bend the front knee ever so slightly. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Plant your hands into the seat of the chair and step it back, downward dog. You can try to gaze towards your belly button. Stay here or shift your gaze forward, coming into high plank. Really glide those shoulders down the back, pressing through the arms, reaching back through your heels. Maybe practicing up dog. Again, shoulders are trying to reach backwards as the heart reaches forward and up. When you're ready, down dog. And you're always welcome to do one more a little bit faster. Beautiful. Let your head hang. Let's sigh it out one more time. Deep inhale. Ah. One step at a time. Walk it up. Coming into a flat back. And gently fold, bringing your forehead to the seat. Spread your toes and press down through your feet. As you inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, arms open wide and down into mountain. Once again, notice the body. Notice the mind.
and let your breath be natural. Notice if this natural breath is different than your natural breath was when we first began. Notice how the space around the body feels. Bring the palms to heart center. Today we have sent some offerings. And now before our final resting pose, I'd like you to open to letting gifts come in. You can rest seated in the chair, or you can lie down on your back, either with the legs out long, or the legs can release in the seat of the chair so they're elevated. However you would like to rest, is perfectly fine. Just find a position where the body can fully relax. Let your breath remain natural, no effort here. Notice the contact points where your body is resting in the chair or on the ground. And see if you can soften and melt into those places more. Really let gravity hold you. Har Grevasate Lakshmi Karamudaye Saraswati Karamate to go Vinda Paravate Karedashana Karakrevasate Lakshmi Karamudaye Saraswati Karamade to go Binda Paravate Karitashana Karakrevasate Lakshmi Karamudaye Saraswati 
Karma de to go in the Parava de Kareta Shana Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggling fingers and toes. And if you're laying on the ground, you can roll to one side. And eventually make your way to seated. You can sit in the chair or on the ground. Let's bring our palms together at heart center. And just gently bowing towards the heart. We honor this body and everything that it does for us. All the places it takes us. All the little wounds that it heals all the experiences that we're able to have. And honoring the mind. All the things that it remembers, the planning it's able to do, its ability to be present, so many things.
And let's also honor the soul or the part of us that is infinite. The part of us that exists beyond time or space. That is connected to everyone, everything. You could say that yoga is a very brave practice. It's very brave to go inward, to be present, to notice and find all the little things that come up when we practice, all the little insights that happen. this class would not exist without each other. So it takes a community to be able to keep a class like this going. So when you're ready, you can open the eyes and we'll seal this practice with an ohm and we'll ohm to each other. Let's inhale together. Exhale all the way out. And inhale for Om. Namaste.